We're going out trout fishing this morning. We saw the weather, how nice and calm it is today. And I told Troy I've been out a couple days this week with some clients and I knew where this big schools of redfish were this morning with a calm like this. I knew we'd go out and get just a killer show. So we decided to do a segment on a redfish here and I promised Troy that he could get it. Okay, there they are, 12 o'clock in front of us. Just keep it moving across the top. There you go, like that. I'm gonna try this one, man. We're gonna see what we can do and hopefully catch fish for you here. We'll be right back. He's on. Oh, he missed it, he missed it. I don't care, I've done this thing, I've done this a thousand times, man. My knees are still shaking like a leaf. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Addictive Fishing. We haven't ventured too far away from home. As a matter of fact, we're in our backyards again. But I tell you what, you can't beat fishing in your own backyard. We're on a school of redfish right now. There's about 200 in the school. And uh, old fish boy's on the front of the boat and I'm on the back of the boat this morning. We're just out here having some fun. Fish boy, I'm gonna throw this thing out and whack one. Tail next to it. There's some to the left. They're all over the place, man. Oh, oh, oh. Did he get it? Fish, George. Fish, 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 fish. We rolled on it. There he is. Oh, fish on. Let me get around you, Blair. Okay. <laughs> From the platform, baby. I'm trying to fall From off the there. platform. <laughs> That's why you told me that lure. Dude, they slammed on it twice. Oh, man, what a fish. Where you at? About straight three o'clock. Oh man, was that an awesome hit or what? Sorry about that. You get the next one. Here he goes, here he goes. Oh, come on, baby. Got him. All right, way to go, Troy, baby. Oh. Easy, on, easy, easy on that stuff. You don't got to set the hook hard with that power pro, man. It, there is no stretch Ooh, in that cut, stuff. You see me come up on top, just sift it right up. Way to go, brother. Yeah, baby. Very to go. Hey, man, I like this. It's been a while since I've been on the front of the boat. <laughs> It's good, ain't it? Yeah, they like that thing just scooting across the top. Ooh, boy, these rods have a good feel to them. Yeah. He's trying to chase him now. Yeah, that, that, you see that bump, bump, bump. Look at him over here. I'm fixing to get me one. Look at that. Can people always ask him? Where, 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 where are they? Help to see those guys. Ray Charles can see those fish. That's what I tell my clients a lot. Got a nice fish on. He probably about 25, 30 pounds. Feel that? Oh yeah. Nice little shake. Oh, he gobbled that deal way up, didn't he? Yeah, he did. What do they call that thing? An adjust a floater. Looks kind of great action. Well, it looks just like a scared mullet sitting on the top of the water. Well, you know, I like the fact that it's got those little, uh... Canary. Oh! He came off. That hurt my feelings. 
I had him good too. What in the heck? Look at that. Hey, look. He got off. I pulled on a little bit, and the line came off. And look, a uh, little curl. You know what that means? It means the knot that you tied pulled out. Man, <laughs> we're gonna get you a fish. I promise. Gotcha. Don't, all right. Man, I didn't think they were gonna hit. That is nice. That is a nice fish. Out to the right. Way out to the right. Way out in front of that. You ready? Tell me when. Recast, recast, bang it on, bring it on. Walking, get it walking. No, oh, who's your daddy? <laughs> All right, we got a couple, a couple new lures tied on. We're gonna get back up on these fish, and we're gonna catch you one this time. That is nice. That is a nice fish. Way to go. Woo wee. Man. Whoa. Oh man, he's got some, he's got some weight. Got some man. bone to him. Oh yeah. Oh, running at me. Keep up on him. You now see I what I did? I was gonna cast, but I had a loop in the thing. I knew if I'd have cast, that thing would have tangled up and I landed right on the school and messed you up. So I said, what the heck? Troy's normally on the back of the boat. <laughs> just kick him if you have to. He just ain't coming out of that school, is he? He's not coming back, man. Well, you might I mean, want to come a little bit, go, go a little bit light on him, Troy, because another fish might swim into that line and bust you off. And it happens so many times. You figure we could get one. <laughs> Dude, one of them would come up and eat that. You know, I've never seen a place that has so many world record sized fish. There are more records come out of this area than any other, isn't it? Yeah, right? yeah. Fly rod and all the, all the line class, a lot of the line class. There's still a couple from up there in North Carolina, but, uh, most of the majority of them now, I think, are from here. Look at he won't come out of that school. Oh, boy. Thing is, well, though, fishing for him up there is not like fishing for him here, where you got two feet of water and it's just crystal clear flats. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. I'm going to try to get up there and we'll see if we can get a double. All right, you going to get ready with that? Yeah, Whoa. go ahead and step up there. He's Come working me, man. He's working me. I'll see if I can get up to him quick. But it seems like these guys are just a little picky today. It's just so calm, you know? Yeah. They know you're coming. People say redfish don't have very good vision and they're dumb. They ought to come here. These guys are, they're like fishing for 45 pound bonefish. Yeah, I'm gonna cross you here. What a nice fish. I appreciate you pulling me. Well, no problem. <laughs> you know when we land this one where where you're going, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not another one. Whew, my hands cramping. I promised Troy this morning we'd get him a fish. We broke off two. Had like three on, but this one here I think is gonna stick on. He doesn't want to come to the boat, man. This is one of those guys that that just has it in his mind not to come to the boat. He's gonna take it. He's gonna have his way with you. Yeah, he's gonna, he, oh, listen to that. Oh, man, 
That's one thing I love about these Fenor reels. I love that drag. Oh yeah, the it's, sound of that thing. Oh yeah, it's it got a real prominent sound. You know when it's going out. Yeah, my clients always hear, listen to that thing, listen to that thing. Oh yeah. They say it's this time of year when the water's kind of cool like this. And uh, they just got a lot of spunk to them. And they just take off across the flash, just <laughs> It's pretty neat. That's why I like fishing for them in this time of year. You know, that there's there's still a lot of oxygen in the water. The water's cool. Yeah. And they've got lots of spunk. <sighs> Can I borrow a hand? Hey, what's the matter? You're too used to holding these man, big old push poles? I'm too used to being on that push pole, man. Can you borrow a hand? And I always say, oh, don't be so baby. There he is. I think if I jump down, he'll be able to keep pulling us this way. We'll land his, land his mogan self. Hey, Blair, there's a fish on the end of my line, buddy. That's a big one, too. <laughs> that's a mogan. Look at that big old fish. Man, <laughs> that's a mogan. Man, what a fish. Look at that beautiful fish. And these things decide they want to give up. I tell you what, they're just about as docile as they can be. They just get calm down. <sighs> they just calm down a lot. That is Indian, a beautiful fish. Indian River redfish. Look at that head. Fish. Well, I told Troy I'd pull him on one of these things today. I think now we're going to go get some trout. If we, uh, I tell you what, I want to think I might want to try one of these things. Okay. I'm going to catch one, then we'll go do some trout. Let's get the hook out of this thing. Hey, good job, sir. I appreciate it, man. Good, awesome. good, good job, Paul. Now you're going to see Fish Boy pull the boat. Because <laughs> now it's my turn. Let's see your player, sir. Yes. There you go. Very good. Not adjust a floater, man. I tell you what. Well, I like how that looks, the body comes back up the line. Yeah, looks just like a mullet. Let's get him back. In. Okay. Oh, what a nice fish. One big spot on that side and two on that. I've said this before about redfish, but when they're little fingerlings like this big, they have this spot on the tail that makes it look like an eye up front. And it looks like a looks like a an eye to predator fish when they come up to eat it, and so it gives they come and attack the tail, and when they try for the tail, the redfish is able to swoosh away real quick, and uh, have a better chance for survival. And this one definitely survived a few years. Whew. Let's let him go. Good job, man. You know whose turn it is now, though, don't you? Oh man, <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't say Time that. Time for me to come to the front of the boat. I'm gonna put on a pair of shorts, the temp's coming up. We got reds tailing right up above us. Hey, y'all stick around, we'll be right back. There he is. Ready? There fish he on. is, all right, brother. All right, I got me a redfish now. <laughs> it's about time. Okay, it's time to whack one. Oh, look, they're moving up on it. One of them seen it. There he is, he ought to be on it. Out to the right. Way out to the right. Way out in front of that. Beautiful, beautiful. That's it, right there. There he is. Ready? There fish he on. is. All right, brother. All right, I got me a redfish now. <laughs> it's about time. Man, I never thought those things were gonna eat that, eat that adjuster floater, but you present it to them just right. Oh, they'll eat every time. They'll eat every it. time. Oh, the school coming. Yeah. Now there's one thing, if I ever get tired of this and quit getting the shakes, man, nice jack just went under the boat. Wow, if I ever I get tired that. of this and quit getting the shakes when I get up on these fish, whew, God, there's 400 redfish right there. Come on, Troy, get one. We need a double. We need a double. Look at that, it's a 40 pound fish right there. Oh. Incredible. I've been dying for a day like this. This is absolutely beautiful. 
put your dues in, you get a day like this with the fish going off. What were you telling me earlier about Sabine Pass and stuff? Were you, were you and your dad out fishing? Oh yeah, we uh, that's where I got my nickname from. We went out to uh, Sabine Pass, Texas and went trout fishing uh, at the jetties. Yeah. And we caught so many fish, I didn't have any place to sit in the boat, so I started throwing fish out of the boat. We filled up the igloos and everything, and he says, what are you doing? I said, I'm throwing fish out of the boat. He says, why? I said, I don't have any place to sit. So from then on, he started calling me Fish Boy. <laughs> that's how I got that name. Well, that is Indian River Lagoon Redfish, and we're gonna go do our best attempt now to go get some big trout. Show you what size they are. Thank you, Troy. And you know what? That adjuster floater disappeared. I think it, that, that Power Pro cut it right off of there as he was running through that school. That or another fish grabbed it. <laughs> yeah, they probably did. Nice. They were fighting over that one early this morning. Yeah, they were. There he goes. Beautiful fish. Look at him, just mosey on off. Cabo San Lucas, some killer footage down there, some billfish. It's some awesome stuff. Y'all check this out. We're gonna fish this bank a little more. Maybe pull out a snook out of this. If not, y'all enjoy this footage. Fish on, guys, fish on, fish on. It's coming, it's coming. Take it away, take it away, put it away. Billfish here on fishing the Cabo San Lucas Billfish Tournament here in Cabo San Lucas. Right here in the Sea of Cortez where it meets up with the Pacific Ocean. We've been trolling these live mackerel around and uh, this guy just jumped all over it. Nice. Fish. We were trolling with a lot of artificials here earlier, and uh, there's so many different types of ways and ways you can fish these fish in this area. There he goes. Yeah, got him. There we go. One more, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, good stick. Bingo! Woo. Now that is a striped marlin. <laughs> Let him go anytime. In time. Go. Thanks for tuning in to this week to Addictive Fishing. Hope y'all enjoyed that footage from Cabo San Lucas. Some awesome footage, wasn't it? Troy, thanks for coming out with me today. You're welcome, Blair. Appreciate the polling. Glad you got to get one. Troy usually does our camera work for us, so I decided we're gonna, we're gonna put him on some fish today. Thanks for tuning in, we'll see you next week. We've got a school coming off the edge of the channel, coming this way about 125 yards. Got plenty of time. There he is. Come on, Boney. There he goes, brother.